So in today's video, we are going to make this environment inside Unreal Engine 5. So this is going to be a beginner friendly video as all of my videos are. So I'm going to keep things simple. Before I start with the video, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. So thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Okay, so we're gonna start with the empty scene right here. So if you don't know how to create an empty level, you can just press Ctrl N and then you can select the empty level right there. So after creating an empty level, you can see that there's nothing in the scene. So let's start by creating some lights in the scene. So you can go to window right there and just click on environment light mixer and a new panel will open up. So this is the environment light mixer. And this is used for like uh, adding in lights in your scene very fast. So let's create a skylight first. After that, let's add an atmospheric light. So that is basically your sunlight. After that, let's create a sky atmosphere. So the sky atmosphere is going to give you a realistic uh, sky atmospheric system. After that, you can click on clouds and you will get some volumetric clouds in the scene. Next, click on height fog. And this is going to create an exponential height for your scene. So after that, you can see that all of our lighting elements are here. So now let's select the direction light and make sure that it's set to movable. So just select the skylight and make sure that it's set to movable. Now in the skylight, we need to turn on an additional setting. So that's the real time capture option. And this is going to make sure that uh, the skylight is going to update in real time. So that's looking pretty good. Let's select the fog and in the fog, you can turn on volumetric fog. So volumetric fog is going to give you a very realistic look to your scene. Now let's fix our cloud. So currently you can see that our clouds are very low quality. So let's fix that. So we need to change the material here and Unreal already comes with a lot of cloud material. So let me show you how to access them. So in order to get access to those cloud materials, you can go to plugins. And you need to turn on the volumetrics plugin. So just turn this on. And to see all of the plugin content and the engine content, you need to turn these on. So go to the content browser and make sure that you turn these on. Next, you'll see a new folder called engine. So go in that folder, just select plugins. And here you have all the plugins that you've enabled for this project. So go under the volumetrics, go under content, under the sky, under the materials. You can see that we have a lot of different materials here. So to apply any material, just click and select that material. Click on the volumetric cloud. Scroll down right here and just press that button. So as you can see, this material looks pretty good. Now, if you want to rotate the sunlight, you can press this shortcut key. So that's all for the lighting. So our lighting looks pretty good. Now let's add some Quixel Megascan assets in the scene. So for this particular scene, I'm going to use this asset pack. And as you can see, I've downloaded some assets here. So if you download an asset, you will have a green tick mark on that asset. So I've downloaded a bunch of these assets. Again, you don't need to download all of them. After downloading these assets, let's export it in Unreal Engine. So to export them, simply press that arrow button and that's going to export it with all the materials and everything in your project. So do that for all the assets that you have downloaded. So now this scene is going to be for a cinematic. So this is only for cinematic purposes. This is not for gameplay purposes. So before creating any cinematic scene, it's always essential to like set up your shot. So for that, let's go to cinematic and let's add a camera. Now right click and snap the camera to the viewport view. And now we have a lot of settings for the camera here. The main setting that you need to change is the lens. So change the minimum and the maximum focal length to 22 millimeters. So 22 millimeters is basically a wide angle lens and it's good for like creating landscape shots. So here we have a lot of settings, but you're going to take a look at those later. Now we are going to switch from the viewport view to the camera view. And the way we do that is we go to the perspective right there. So just click that and just select your camera. So now we can start adding in all the mega scan assets and start creating an environment. 
So you can go in the content folder under the mega scans folder in the 3D assets folder. You can go to the filters and just apply a static mesh filter. If you apply that filter, you can see that all of these meshes are visible at once. So to place this asset, just drag it in the scene. So I'm just switching between the move tool and the rotate tool and just placing these assets. So now our mid-ground elements are looking pretty good, but we are lacking some detail in the background. So for the background, we are going to add some mountains. So you will find these mountains in the content folder. And again, this is included in the startup project. So just drag the mountain mesh into the scene and place it backwards. And again, I'm just changing the lighting. So lighting is the most important part of your scene. So make sure that you play with a lot of different lighting uh, presets. So our environment looks pretty good. And now it's time to create the animation. So for creating the animation, we are going to create something called as a level sequence. So just go right there and create a level sequence. You will need to save this asset. So after saving that, you're going to see a new window pop up and that window is called the sequencer panel. So if you take a look at the sequencer panel closely, it very much resembles like a video editing application. And essentially like that's what it is. So we have a timeline here and we have the frame numbers. So from zero to like the end frame. So this is pretty self-explanatory. So this is like a basic timeline, which we have in all video editing applications. So in order to animate the camera, let's drag the camera from the hierarchy into the sequence. So as you can see, now the camera is added into the sequence. For this animation, we are going to animate the transform. So to animate this, we are going to go to frame zero and just click that button right there. And that's going to add a circular dot right here. So that dot is basically the keyframe. Go to the last frame, move your camera a bit inwards. Again, you can move your camera however you want. I'm just creating a zoom in animation. And once you have done that, just add a keyframe again. So keyframes are basically like a uh, frozen uh, snapshots. So basically on frame zero camera has a position and on the last frame camera has another position and unreal is like basically filling in the gaps between those um, snapshots. And that's how you get like animation. You could also change the frame rate of the sequence if you want. Now let me show you how to render this out. So we are going to use the default uh, rendering method inside Unreal Engine 5 and that's using the sequencer itself. So you will find a render button in the sequencer. So just click that. That is going to open up the render movie settings. So first under the capture settings, we have image output format. So this format is basically uh, your final file format. So by default, this is going to be set to PNG. This means that each frame will be saved as a PNG image and then you will have to like composite that in a video editing application and make it into a video. So if you choose PNG here, just note that it will not be saved as a video. Next, you can choose if you want uh, audio to be rendered as well. Next, we have the resolution. So this is very self-explanatory. We have some advanced options here. So um, first we have the custom short frame and end frame. So if you wanted to render a part of an animation and not the whole animation, you can do that by uh, typing in the frame numbers for the start frame and the end frame. Next, we have warm up frame count, set that to 32 and set both delays to one second. So this is quite important. So if you have a lot of post processing going on in your scene, this is very important. Lastly, under the general, uh, we have the output directory. So that's like the folder where all your uh, images or your video file is going to be stored under the image settings. We have the compression quality. So leave that on the default option. So all our settings are looking pretty good. So you can press the capture movie button and that's going to render out your animation. 
and again as i said if you want to render this directly as a movie you can always choose the video sequence so that's going to render it as a avi file format and if you choose to render this as a video you are not going to get the quality that you are going to get if you render them as png images so i'm just letting you know that if you want to render this as a video you could do so so there we go this is how easy it is to create something like this inside unreal engine 5 so i hope you learned something from this video if you did please leave a like down below also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and yeah that's it i'm going to see you in the next video